What's going on guys, it's L.O. Amach here and today I've got some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay for you guys. Uh, it's been a while for me since I posted a video. I think it's been around 2-3 days, maybe more, I'm not too sure, but it's been a while since I posted a video. I've been a bit busy working on some other stuff, working on my intro as you just seen there. I uh, hope you guys like I'm pretty happy with that intro. Uh, so enough about that. Just quickly see me here taking B. I'm looking up the sky. I probably think why is he looking up the sky? But if you see the key, uh, if you saw the kill feed, uh, that one Uptube have been I think two or three of my teammates were actually killed by grenade launchers. So I was just careful uh, that I wasn't going to get shot up by grenade launchers. So I'm using the Farmer's FMJ. That's why you just see me shooting through walls over here. So this poor Amarafka is getting shot out. Uh, I should have just turned her and ran away there, but it's getting blown up by a Semtex. I think it was a Semtex or Frag or whatever. I just got blown up by a grenade. So uh, my weapon, uh, my weapon choice, yeah, the Farmers with FMJ. You probably think why Farmers with FMJ? I'm not sure if some of you use this or I'm not sure who uses this, but it's like one of the first times I see like anyone use Farmers FMJ. Uh, I don't know, I could be wrong, but usually when I see here we use a farm, it's usually with red dot sight or holographic sight. Or in some cases with late launchers. Um, yeah, so I've chosen the FMJ to attachment for all of the farmers. Because playing Black Ops, I actually learned something from the farms. Because in Modern Warfare 2, I hated the farms only because of its iron sight. Um, I was always like, oh, if the farms had, didn't have iron sight, I'll always be using it. I always just chucked on red dot, and that's all I'd use. Farms with red dot. Because I just really hated the iron types. So after playing Black Ops, uh, the farmers in that game had pretty much the same iron sights as this uh, as this one farmers. Oh, I've just, I just realized I said farmers a lot. Uh, wow, well, that's weird. Uh, anyway, the iron sights for this and the Black Ops are pretty much the same. The the only difference I think is I don't know, just a bit of curves, bit of circles, that's about it, but other than that, it's pretty much the same iron sight. And in Black Ops, uh, I can't use red dot nor reflex sight on the farmers, so I just use extended mags or dual mags, so I have, I have to use the iron sight that it gives. So when I came back to Modern Warfare 2 and I went on red dot sight with the farmers, I don't know, it just didn't feel right, so I just put on FMJ and I felt a whole lot better. So you see me here, Captain B, uh, sorry, Captain A, where we have B, so just looking out, see if frag come, couldn't do anything about that. So I quickly call in a predator missile over here. Over here, I'm, I just didn't know who to go for. So I quickly come for this guy and end up getting a double kill. So I was pretty happy with that decision. So I'm just running up in here. Then I see 50 points pop up on my screen. I'm like, wow, look at the kill feed. I actually got someone that was in last stand. So I was a little bit more happy there. So I'm just watching around patrolling the area. I'm making sure they don't take A or B. Uh, if, you, if any of you guys actually do play Domination with me or any game mode you do want you know that I'm a objective player like all I do is take the objectives I'll I actually have some black ops videos coming out while you actually see what I'm talking about uh, I know Hutch done a video previously called uh, I think it's hard that I can't raise this baby alone where all he done was just running back and forth capping flags and eventually they lose I have a video similar to that where you just see me running back and forth back and forth taking flags defending flags uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we won or lost matches. I think I got two of them prepared for you. I know one of them I think we lost. Uh, yeah, so I'll be coming soon. Over here, I'll just crouch down. You might think I'm camp. I actually got sit where I pro, so I can hear someone coming. Get my Rafikas out, but Commando got the best of me here. Just lunged right at me, so... You're probably uh, wondering what my, what my kill streaks are. You're probably not wondering. You've probably seen most of them so far. I'm using Spy Plane, Counter Spy Plane, and... Uh, Predator Missile, I, I think that setup, or it might be Spy Plane, or UAV, Predator Missile and Chopper Gun, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not too sure, we're just going to have to see. I'm pretty sure I got, nah, it must be Chopper then. I just seem to get blasted over here by Semtex. Get a little bit mad there, swiping the air with my knife. So, I saw we lost B, so I'm just running back to B, I get that back, just chucks a stun. So quickly, look at that. Kill and he had a shotgun, so I was lucky. Like, one shell and I would have been gone. Don't you guys miss this past 12 in uh, Modern Warfare 2? I don't know, some people might have said it was overpowered, but uh, I didn't really find that overpowered. I found a regular shotgun here, getting a nice little dolphin dive, capture B, and 
it's not really the often I just jump there and go prime. Uh, where was I was off top? Oh, that's right, the Spaz 12. The Spaz 12 in Modern Warfare 2 was such a great gun. I don't know, in Black Ops, oh, that was a nice kill there. Funny, my was just jumping off that cliff. Uh, I keep getting off track. Yeah, the uh, Spaz 12 in Modern Warfare 2 was such a good gun. Uh, playing Black Ops, when I actually played the campaign, I saw the Spaz 12 with Fire Breath around. I just love that gun. Oh my god, I can't wait to go on like this. With Black Ops, I actually did campaign before I done the multiplayer, so that's why I seen all the guns first. I saw the Spaz 12 uh, Fire Round uh, Dragon Breath Rounds, I think it was called. And that gun was just a beast. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go online. I'm just going to be using the Spaz like most of the time. I jump online, I see the Spaz. And the only attachment that the Spaz had was a suppressor. And I'm just like, what is this? So I try to suppress it out. Nah, bad. I take the suppressor off. It's like even worse. So I just leave the suppressor on. I think that's what most people are doing. Because I'm not sure. The shotguns in Black Ops are terrible. Secondaries in Black Ops are terrible. Terrible. And the subs are pretty bad. It's like the... Uh, 74 U takes over. That just like fouls over. And I, I get stabbed here. I thought it was Commander Line, but it was actually Steady Aim. So I got a bit too, uh, a little bit pissed there. So you see me swapping the air, shaking the screen around in rage. I have to get my payback kill over here on him. That was all good. This game isn't really the high scoring game. I think I got 25 to 9. I actually just posted because I know that you guys wanted to see Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, and this game I actually had like fun watching and playing. I just laid down a claymore there. Uh, at that point in the match, I actually just realized I did have claymores and not sentexes, so I felt pretty stupid there. So, uh, this bit over here, you're gonna see sit how, how much sit rep pro actually helps. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop commentating so you can, so you can actually see what I mean. Uh, you can actually hear what I mean. But I'll actually stop commenting when that bit comes up. It'll be coming up pretty soon. I'll just get into a like, big gun with this guy. Eventually, I'll lose, but I just don't budge drop. And okay, I'm gonna stop commentating now. Counter UAV is up. UAV online. We're winning this fight. UAV recon standing by. Repeat. UAV recon standing by. There we go, you see that? Sit Rep Pro helps so much. If you guys haven't got Sit Rep Pro, try to get Sit Rep Pro, but I know, uh, I know not a Sit Rep Pro. I just started there, sorry about that. I know not much people are really that into them, or actually they are like, it's not that they're not into them, it's not, not much people actually trying like for Modern Warfare 2 anymore. I know all the hackers are gone on PS3, I'm not sure about Xbox. I think they are. I haven't played Xbox much lately. But, uh, yeah, so hackers are gone, but I don't think people do on Modern Warfare 2, they're, they're still noob tubers, they're still commando people, they're still painkiller, that's, that's never going to change, but I don't know. I actually found Modern Warfare 2, it actually be, uh, I wouldn't say the greatest, but one of the greatest, I know like COD 4 will always be the reigning king of FPS's, but Modern Warfare 2 I, I think is one of the best, I think it's just behind COD 4, because of the all new stuff added, you know, like it added all the kill streaks, customizations and I don't know, just Modern Warfare 2 is just a great game, it's just like the community record. I'm, I'm not speaking about all the, all the community but I don't know, it's just the community actually wrecked it like not, no one would one man army uh, danger close grenade launch until one person done it, the other person picked up and they just kept doing it like so the community actually wrecked the game, I know the perks were never for you to use but using that combination was actually used by the community, so I think that they erected. So this game's coming to a close right here. Uh, the final score, as I said, 25 to 9. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see some more Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, I can I can get that done for you. And like I said earlier, I will be having the Black Ops gameplays where I do most of the capping and defending. So that's about it, guys. If you liked it, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.